20 million in appropriations, 8 million in revenues, very little overlay. I guess they thought they have a really good assessor. They're not going to be much for abatements. And they have uh, uh, quite a few veterans, so they're going to add that back. They're going to raise 12 million. Here's what their assessed value is, so they had an $8.95 rate. Um, similarly, it's very similar with the school district rate. Now, you have the Hampton School District, and you're part of Winniconnet. Correct. Correct. So you've got two school districts. Similar process. The only thing is with that cooperative school district, there's a cooperative school district agreement that says how are you going to share those right. costs with those other towns. That's just another piece of the calculation, but it's pretty much the same thing. The state education tax, which is uh, on the tax bills too, that is something that is uh, really decided by statute, and the law has been $363 million a year. Set the tax rate statewide based on equalized property value, sufficient to raise $363 million. That gets divvied up to each town, and then DRA um, figures out how much your share of that is going to be, or you know what's going to come from Hampton as their share towards that $363 million. A county tax rate, again, very similar to the process, the appropriations, less the revenues. With the county, it's based on your equalized property value. What portion is Hampton of, what county are we in? Rockingham. Rockingham. Okay, so maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're 15% of that, so you're going to pick up 15% of the cost of the counties. Um, so here's the last piece. What's it going to cost on the tax rate? And we call this the three-finger rule. Okay, so in that sample town that I gave you, they have an assessed value of $1.4 billion. So the three-finger rule says, and I have to get up here to show you this, the three-finger rule says, you're going to take three fingers, you're going to cover the last three digits. Uh, that is a dollar on the tax rate. Yeah. If you cover four digits, that is 10 cents on the tax rate. If you cover five digits, that is a penny on the tax rate. Wow. So, hmm. once you know that, you can look at something and like a $400 fire truck and say, okay, that $400 fire truck, if this is the amount that's a dollar on the tax rate, what's a $400 fire truck? $400,000. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, four, I'm sorry, $400,000 fire truck divided by the amount that's a dollar on the tax rate? That's going to be 28 cents on your tax rate. If you had a collective bargaining agreement that had a cost item of $25,000 divided by the amount that's a dollar on the tax rate, that would be about just under two cents. Mm. It will work. It will work for revenues and expenditures. Wow. So if all of a sudden you say the state is going to give you $60,000 more in meals and rooms revenue, how much would that be on your tax rate? Or if you wanted to do a $500,000 project, how much is that going to cost? So what I've given you is this green sheet, and I looked back to see what was your 2014 valuation. So this is what was on the DRA's website for your net assessed valuation in Hampton in 2014. Why did I use 2014? Because we don't know what the 2015 is because your assessor is still doing all that work, okay? So this was the most recent one. So what you do is cover up those last three digits. So what's, what's the dollar on your tax rate? There it is. And I had, where's my little number? Where's my <laughs> cheat sheet? Ah. So $2.7 million. That's a dollar on your tax rate. Ten cents would be one digit less. So about 278000 is 10 cents on your tax rate. About 27, 28,000 is a penny on your tax rate. Okay? So if you had a project that was going to be cost you $550,000, if you divided that by line two, what's a dollar on your tax rate, it would come out to about 20 cents. That $25,000 cost item, if you divide it by what's on line two, it would be about a little less than a penny. So here's the caveat I have to give you with this, because your assessor would hand my my hand me my head if I didn't tell you this. As I said, this is based on your 2014 tax rate. Come fall, you're going to have a 2015 assessed value. 
I mean, yeah, it's on your 2014 assessed value. You're going to have a new assessed value in the middle of September. You're going to have your April 1st, 2015 is the assessment date. Your assessor is supposedly going to be sending in the MS-1 form to DRA around the middle of September. You're going to have a new value for 2015. That's your homework assignment in September to get that local assessed value. So as you're doing the budget next year, you can have an estimate of what items will cost or what the, you know, the revenue impact. And again, these are only estimates because come 2016, there's going to be a new assessed value for 2016. What this is intended to do is to help you determine if something's going to cost pennies, nickels, dimes, or dollars on the tax rate to give you just an estimate of what that is. Okay?